Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over a quick comprehensive guide on how to use Sentry Mode. So how to turn it on, access your clips both in the car, on your phone, and if you need to get the clips off of your car onto a computer, for instance. So what we're going to do to start off is to open up our little car menu here by clicking on this icon in the bottom left hand corner. And then in our menu settings, if you just want to simply turn on or off Sentry Mode from your controls, you can do so by clicking on Sentry Mode right here it's off when you don't have that red dot on and then of course it's on when that red dot is showing you can also confirm this with sentry mode being on if this red dot is showing here at the top of your screen to jump more into the settings what we want to do is find where it says safety and click on that with sentry mode turned on it means anytime you park your vehicle and you walk away from it, it locks. It will turn sentry mode on so that it will record things that are happening around your vehicle. If anything stands out to it that needs to be recorded, it will do that, like people walking around your vehicle, for instance. And of course, when you're driving, sentry mode will be turned off. That's when dash cam will be used instead. But with sentry mode turned on, anytime that you park your Tesla, walk away from it, the doors lock, it will turn on the camera security features, unless you're excluding some of those address locations where it wouldn't turn on if you park your car in those areas. And for me, for instance, I exclude my home address because I'm parked in a garage. I really don't need sentry mode using up my battery in that instance. And you might find yourself in a safe situation at places like this that you might want to exclude so that sentry mode doesn't turn on in those areas. If you haven't already set a home work address, things like that, you can do this simply by clicking on the navigate area right here. And then in the navigate search bar, we get this drop down menu with some options. So to set or change your home address, you can just hold down here where it says home. You can also do this for a work address, for instance, or any of your favorites that you've added in here. So going back into our menu, that's excluding those particular addresses if you'd like to do that. I also recommend turning on view camera via mobile app, toggling this switch on. This will allow you to view the live stream footage of the video around your vehicle using your Tesla's cameras. You can view those through the mobile app and then you'll also be able to access sentry mode footage clips in the mobile app as well. So this is where you turn that feature on. And you'll need to be subscribed to the premium connectivity plan to get access to these features in the Tesla mobile app. If you'd like to view your sentry mode footage in your Tesla vehicle, you just need to open up this app that has the little icon of the camera lens. And if it's not located in your bottom bar area down here, you can open up your apps by clicking on the expand menu option and you should be able to find it in here. It's called dash cam. So if we open this up, It'll show you the different camera footage that is currently around your Tesla vehicle, but to see your sentry mode clips, we do that by clicking on this menu up here and all of your dash cam and sentry mode footage will be found in this area. And you can filter it specifically by just having your sentry mode footage by clicking on the sentry option up here at the top of the menu. All of this footage is stored on a USB stick that is located in the glove box. So to access that, we can open up our controls and then from there we can open up our glove box and then Inside of our glove box, you should be able to find a USB stick located in there. And this is where you're gonna have those video clips stored. You can take that out of your Tesla vehicle, bring it over to a computer, plug it in to get access to those video clips if you want to put them on a computer, for instance, and I'll show you how to do that. Now over on my desktop computer, I plugged in my Tesla USB stick. So what I want to do from here is launch my file explorer. And in my file explorer under this PC, I opened up my Tesla drive USB stick. And then from here, I open up the Tesla cam option. From here, you have three folders. So recent clips is going to just be the last hour of recorded footage in your Tesla vehicle. And this is just going to keep recording over the course of time where you can access that last hour of clips with different cameras. Your saved clips are going to be from your dash cam. And then your sentry clips are going to be things that are saved from sentry mode. So you can access that video in this area if you needed to save it. Of course, you can just open up any of these folders and then you can take a look at the sentry mode footage that has been recorded. Now taking you over to the Tesla app, launching it on my smartphone. And from here, scroll down until you find where it says security. And from here, we click on where it says security and drivers. And from here, you have the option to turn on or off sentry mode with this little toggle switch here. So if I wanted to turn it on, I can just press this little switch. It will turn on and now I can view the live camera footage. There's also the sentry mode recordings preview. So if I open that up, you'll see that there's currently nothing here. And this might be a little bit confusing, but the types of recordings that get put into this area are a little bit different than the ones that show up on your car. Any type of sentry mode footage that is recorded, you can find on the USB stick in your car. The only types of videos that you'll get notified through the Tesla app and saved in this area is if it reaches the level to where the car alarm goes off, if it's escalated to that point. 
of danger or threat. It will be recorded and saved in this area. That's how it's currently set up. And those recordings will be put in this area. And then you can also view that live camera footage if you have sentry mode turned on. And then click on where it says view live camera. It's at nighttime and my car is in the garage, so it's just black right now. So let's flash the lights and then we can see what that looks like. So I can see the back of my garage right there through the live camera footage. And you can even look inside your Tesla vehicle with the inside camera. And these are going to be the different sentry mode things that you can access through the Tesla app through the security tab. But I don't want to take up too much more of your time, so that's going to wrap this one up. I wanted to touch on the main things with Sentry Mode and how to access and find them both in your car through the Tesla app and how you can access that footage through the USB stick on a computer if you plug it in there. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing for more Tesla content in the future.